So it will be it will be in Russian. So uh, our audience is Russian speaking audience, yeah. and they they are before, looking at I, the, I, I, at I think the United I told States. you before on camera. I love the Russian people. I, I respect them very much, and uh, um, just a, a outstanding, outstanding character and outstanding strength. If we touch that one, um, in uh, let's say Americans who are older generation, um, is there any sense of uh, camaraderie? coming out of World War II or not really? Or? Well, we didn't come out of World War II very good as far as Russia and the United States. I mean, we, yeah. I mean, both, both our countries uh, uh, absolutely performed wonderfully um, and we did what we had to do. Um, but um, it's a shame we didn't come out better than we did. We certainly deserve to for all, all, especially Russia, because all the people that you lost, it's just so deplorable. Yeah. Um, you know, nothing's perfect. That's why I like, uh, you know, troops, Trump wants to talk to Putin. I, uh, it's just wonderful. Putin is absolutely a, a tough, tough customer. And um, Russia needs a lot of help. And we certainly can help Russia. We would make just wonderful partners. Can you imagine if we were partners, how we could actually make the world so much better? Uh, That's well, the way I feel. Since I lived in the Soviet Union and I remember different waves of, you know, uh, that detente, you know, coming and going. Oh, yeah. It was, and, uh, uh, yeah, it, it looked so promising when um, we, we came to that. I've learned about Russia in two ways. Because of the, the fights that you, you guys had, I mean, how, you know, Leningrad and all, this just an amazing generals you had and amazing sacrifice. The other one was chess. Mm -hmm. I'm a national chess master. I've been national chess master since 1972. Wow. I actually played Boris Spassky. I got a draw off him down in, um, um, down in Santa Monica. Uh -huh. I actually had dinner with him twice. Wow, okay. He, he, and, even before this, he, he was absolutely my chess hero, yeah. along with Bobby. I loved yeah. them both dearly. Yes. Yeah. And but Boris, you. you know, Bobby ended up he he, he was sick. Yeah. But Boris, what a, I just I love saying this to the camera. Yeah. I think he's one of the most exceptional human beings I've ever. Well, of course I know him, but I've ever come across because of his. Uh, his wonderful character and his uh, great talent, but uh, what a man, what a man, uh, at least from my perspective. Um, and look what he did with Bobby. Look, look how he stood up to, you know, the yeah. powers that be over there. To, Ex extravaganza. To, you know, yeah. It was just, he's just a magnificent person. Yeah. I'm glad he's still alive. I know he's hurting very much, but I love the guy and, um, but that's where I learned. I, I love reading about chess, you know. Because I mean, all those guys actually survived and overcame the very yeah. strong anti-Semitism in Russia. And they, wow. I mean, nothing could stop them. I mean, I really, they, they just could. I mean, yeah, they, they just did it. No matter what, they just did it. My favorite story, if and, I may. And Batvinik and Spassky. Batvinik, yeah. Spassky. Of course, Mick Hiltal, he's still yes. the most loved chess player ever in history. Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually, I actually kept score from Mikhail Tall, and um, uh, I got to think of his name. I can't think right now. Just so fast. Uh, Walter Brown, when he played for, uh, he was over. He was in the national open. He is British, I believe. Um, no, he was Australian. Oh, Australian. But he, he, okay, he okay. Came to the United States. Uh huh. Um, what did I want to say though? Um, Oh, the the, uh, the period again with like the great chess players of that period, uh, you know, like look, they were all part of the what we call the the Young Pioneers Club. Sure. And um, sure, <laughs> I, I was. I love reading the history, and yeah. I loved to. Anyhow, I I like I forgot what I wanted to say there, but um, just sensational chess players and I remember the drama. I remember the Borchnoy, if you. If oh, you Korchnoy. remember the Korchnoy. Yeah, Victor, yes. and uh, he actually kind of he was fighting against the system and they uh, m labeled him a, a traitor oh, and uh, so he, he betrayed was... socialism and moved no way. to the he's... west and, yeah. no way. He's... and the whole system the whole state was against him it's and not uh, not the people though were they 
Oh, well, people were very much uh, uh, indoctrinated into the communist uh, You had what, I mean, he was one doctrine. of the greatest fighters ever in chess, one of the greatest individuals in chess. Yeah, but still it is like you uh, you he support your team, not another country I team. I got and, it, I yeah. got it. Boris Basky, mm -hmm. when he lost to Bobby, mm -hmm. you know, when, when he went to Reykjavik, he had 50 guys with him. Mm -hmm. Trainers, Mm -hmm. Massage players, tennis yes, players, yes. now he's a fine tennis player. Anyhow, when he lost, you probably, I mean, you know the story, mm -hmm. but this, this, I, this, is, this is my favorite about okay, Boris. Okay, so? Sorry. He, so he, they, they made him come back, he come back with no one, they put him through customs. When he lo, ro, a ro, 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 uh, you know, arrived at the airport in Russia, mm -hmm. they put him uh, through customs. Okay. They took, uh, they took his car, I think, he, at least I understood, they took a lot of the trappings around him. Okay. And then the edict went out, you have to get the title back, right? Yes. And they had, everybody had to play. All the great players of Russia had to participate. And what did Boris participate in? And who became the U.S. Rus Russian champion? Boris Spassky. He won, and he was, again, he was the best player to go against Bob. Mm -hmm. All as I know is they tried to embarrass him and, and humble Boris, and, and, and then he goes and he plays them all again and beats them all again. He, one, was, he, just, uh, just he was just an outstanding, you know, a genius, I would say. I would they, say, They are too. all geniuses. And Bobby and all of them are geniuses. Yeah. So I'm very grateful that I uh, I met some of these. I met uh, I met some other ones too, and I actually played Alexander Ivanov uh, in a tournament. I went seven hours against him, but he finally beat me. Really showed you just how strong you know. But um, who was the great one that uh, tied uh, Bob Benick? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 David. David Bronstein. Uh huh. Bronstein. And, uh, mm -hmm. um, what a fantastic story he is. He didn't win the championship. He tied Bud Benning at 12 12. Oh, okay. And then Bud Benning held the title. So he kept the title. Okay, okay, okay. Anyhow, I could talk to you forever yeah. about chess. Okay, okay. So thank you very much. You're very welcome. So, what, what, what's your name? My name's Dan, and I love the Russian people. And um, I just hope we can work things out because we're great. We'd, we'd be great partners. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.